Think about a yeast bread baked with a spicy spread. It has a red pepper paste, onion, spices, olive oil and optionally ricotta like crumbled cheese. Perfect for breakfast, picnic or as a snack. Biberli ekmek is famous in Hatay city in the southeastern part of Turkey. Biber means pepper and ekmek means bread. Some people make it with a fluffy bread base and some with a thin crust like lahmacun. Probably the reason behind this delicious bread type is that they have one of the most delectable pepper pastes in the region and it makes everything delicious. I will show you two versions and both came out delicious. So let's make it. For the yeast dough I have half cup vegetable oil, one cup lukewarm water, one cup milk, two teaspoonful granulated sugar and about three and a half cups of flour first. I'm using double acting yeast so I add it to my flour and going to mix everything and let it sit for five minutes before adding the salt and the rest of the flour. Then you give some time to the yeast before adding the salt. It activates easier and better giving more fluffy result at the end. I have smooth dough, it is sticking a little bit soft and I used uh, close to 6 cups of all-purpose flour in total. I'm gonna turn it into a bowl and let it rise until it is doubled. Meanwhile we can prepare the spicy pepper paste and cheese topping. For this I'm gonna saute one big size onion in about a 4 tablespoons olive oil. To soften easily you can cover it and let it steam for a couple of minutes. Then add 4 heaped tablespoons red pepper paste or mix of tomato and red pepper paste. Give it a good stir and continue to saute for a couple of more minutes. And here are the spices we're gonna use. 2 teaspoon thyme, 2 teaspoon cumin, about a teaspoon coriander, Four five heaped teaspoons sesame seeds, one two teaspoons nigella seeds, and one teaspoon paprika. If your pepper paste is sweet and you want some hotness, you can add red pepper flakes or hot paprika. Just give it a stir. And here is the cheese I used. We use a lard cheese. Uh, this one is from freezer it is similar to ricotta and add extra more olive oil until it becomes a spreadable paste this is how it looks after the cheese is defrosted my dough is risen well and now we are ready to shape I cut the dough into 22 pieces and turn it into balls. I placed 16 of them in a big baking tray. And for the rest I rolled out thinner and placed it to the second tray.
make sure to cover and give it a rest for 15 minutes before placing the spread or topping first I tried it using spoons but since we spread the filling and at the same time shaping the dough I had to use my hand it is much more easy just get a full tablespoon from the filling and spread onto the dough and intentionally you can also oil the sides of the dough because it will create a nice color when it is baked I did the same thing with the thinner ones but they were holding much more from the filling because of the size I baked my biberli ekmek spicy peppery buns at 200 celsius degree preheated oven for about 25-30 minutes the ones that are in bun style were very soft inside the spread were cracked a little bit it is probably I had to switch back and forth between the rocks to bake the boat tray evenly probably next time I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil or vegetable oil to make the spread softer to prevent cracking the soft and fluffy bread inside completes the richness of the topping the spices it was really delicious I had homemade iced tea with me but uh, traditionally they make iron drink or even Turkish tea for the ones that I made wider they hold more from the spread so it is more richer you can try both versions and decide yourself finally for the vegan option add same amount of water for the milk skip cheese and use more sesame seeds and finely chopped walnuts to check my other similar recipes including how to make pepper paste from scratch or ajuka spread for breakfast see you next time afiyet olsun